Hi, how are you? It's a real pleasure for me to have you again in this uh, series of videos that, uh, as you probably know, we're working on the studies of lucidity of the Shisan culture. It's, uh, as I was telling you, a real pleasure for me because we are always trying to, to, to bring some interesting tools for, for our personal development, for our, for our, for our own good, and, and, and it's a real pleasure to do this uh, all together with you. Today I would like to talk about uh, Taro Iresao, which uh, was a study, um, uh, maybe if I go for the translation, uh, I, I will explain it better. Taro means uh, to eat, it's the action of eating. Ire means self, the reflective particle, that, that considering myself, yourself, in this, this sense. And Sao just uh, mean, means person. Taro Ire Sao is the, the study that talks about the person that with, with um, her or his attitudes, with her or his mind and conscious that we will see later, uh, with mind with a certain characteristics and, and conscience with a certain characteristics, uh, just finishes uh, deliberating him or herself and destroying him or herself. As I was telling you, this study is about your mind and about your conscience in the way that the Shizen uh, conceived them. Mind for them is, is the, uh, an ignorant biological machine, just like a calculator that just uh, takes some data and, and always takes out the same result. result. It's uh, mind for them was the um, uh, non-thinking associative uh, faculty. This study talks about when mind is in the darkness, when mind is blind. Um, this behavior that makes you all the time to be pondering, to be brooding, to be thinking uh, repeatedly, to be uh, not digesting your emotions, your, your thoughts, in, a, in such a way that, that they, they are not accepted they don't do the full uh, digestion path and they start to rotten. They, they start to, 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 to create a situation, a, 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 an infectious situation. Um, a mind that is blind is not, is not dealing with the emotions, it's not dealing with the thoughts, it's not looking at the problems uh, face to face or eye to eye. It's just uh, avoiding things and it makes um, all these things move from from your stomach to your mind and and, and never go through so so this was the the, the behavior uh, on that they they called uh, a blind a blind mind on the on the taro irasao uh, study the Zen had uh, apart from the studies of lucidity or of lucidity sorry they had um, many other studies like husu which was uh, their philosophy. In the Husu, we can learn to, to look things as they are or to look things distorted. This has a very, very, very deep relation with, with this of a blind mind because it is that process that makes us not to look uh, to things directly and honestly and, and sincerely and thus um, not digest them, eating them, and, and, and get the thing that we must learn or, or get from them. This was related to the mind, but I was, as I was telling you, they, they studied as well conscience in this study. And the blind conscience is, is of, a, of another kind. Is, um, a blind conscience is, is a lack of principles, of moral principles. Moral is a difficult word with many semantic uh, uh, content and with many, with, with too much uh, semantic con content, with too much uh, meanings. But just let me use it uh, for you to, to understand and for me to explain it better. Uh, it's, 
is the lack of principles in the in the common sense way is the utilitaristic conscience the um, the selfish conscience when it is blind it acts it acts uh, in that way in that way because the faculty of the conscience is to see the beginning and the end of things to understand to have vision to to comprehend the difference between right and wrong and when it is blind is just the opposite so conscience knows when 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 it is hurting it can't understand the difference and even if it, even if understand it it continuous with action it uh, becomes arrogant and uh, and uh, and because arrogance was very related to conscience in Shizen's mind and Shizen's way of thinking things. Um, actually, they, they 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 used to say that that arrogance was proper of higher uh, classes in, on society, because mind for them was more ignorant. Was as I was telling you before, just a biological deterministic machine. And uh, and um, and mind just acted mechanically, so um, so they associated mind more with ignorance than with arrogance, and more with the peasant analogy. The the you can imagine in in the time the aristocracy and 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 peasant people that. Uh, didn't know even how to run because they didn't have uh, physical education and gymnastics on school. So, so peasantry was was the, the metaphor of ignorance. So they associated mind with that and conscience with arrogance. They did they did have as well in this study a chain of events that that were, uh, were the result of a blinded mind, of a, of, a, of a blind conscience. All these bad things started with a, with a complaint. After the complaint, it came a bad mood. After that, maybe you were brave enough to have an argument. And, uh, and after the argument, since the argument doesn't solve anything ever, um, the, the usually came a crisis of anguish and, and after that a little of depression or even irritation. And if not told, the final of this chain of events, of this chain of, of, of problems was illness, uh, bad actions, uh, crime actions, uh, end of relationships and you know a well-established illness. That was uh, that was starting to to crystallize and to become a, 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 a stable problem. I would like to finish the video with uh, a couple of things that we like to say in school. Uh, in our school, one is about a katana. You know, a katana is is, is on the beginning just a, a little rock, and you have to 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 hit with a hammer and. You have to work. You have to 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 administrate some pain to it in order to to make it a jewel. And and after some work and some invest some investment some 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 uh, suffering, the, the, this rock becomes a a precious jewel. It's the same with a diamond. A diamond is just a rock and. Obviously, it has not the same value as a work, a worked uh, diamond, uh, which has lots of work on it. So, be like like the katana that must be forged and and must be worked. And uh, as I tell you every week, please make use of these tools because they are interesting theoretically, but but they're very. My, my very desire bringing them to you is is for you to use them for you to become closer to the woman or man that you want to be 
and then hopefully um, I will I will help you a little more today and and if I ha and if I have the luck to see you next week it would be as today a real pleasure for me so have a nice week I send you as always a big hug and my best wishes for this week coming thank you so much.